this is the um, parts to be assembled. They're pretty cut, but that's no problem. Just makes the assembly a lot quicker. Got the leg and feet assembly, the base, the mid part assembly and the head assembly and glue always good to have glue okay but with the leg assembly and going to um, dry fit because you should always dry fit if you can just to get an idea where it all goes and now for the glue am I still in shot? I am bit of glue on the um joints well feel it joins up that's that done then Putting these together. That you are right. Left. So a bit of glue in here just to help it stick that's the um left leg done It's the right leg, not the left leg. Okay. The right leg is done, sort of, bottom of it is done, that's the left leg done. Now to assemble the release.
going to have my um have this ATST standing um tall and proud. Now to put glue in this joint. Happy with this? Yeah, come on. Yeah, that would think. Put a bit more bit of glue in this hole. Stick this this piece in. Have it straight. And that's the leg leg done. The right leg is done. And they stand like this on the base so put I'll put them aside to dry now I would do the torso assembly again not try fitting so do as they say and not as they do. Do go on the back, go on like this. There we go. That's the back of the torso done. Now, yep. This is slightly tricky. Hmm, do I need to glue you?
I don't think I do. I'll try it out. If I don't need to glue it, I won't. But that this is done. So I'll probably I generally give all my um I give my ATSC or the um armor armaments it can have. So I've got these to fill in the um holes if I'm not using the holes but I am so what I've done with the first one is just glued them um pop them through these holes um, made holes here and pop them through now I'm sort of thinking do I make the holes or do I attempt to be clever and try and cut this top bit off? Okay, I'm back. I've, I've decided to um, make the holes. And stick them in that way. Because it's okay, I'll take that out. That is slightly easier to um, make the hole and stick them in than to try and get it right with these nipping This is the, so far the hole I made, it's coming out on the inside, not sure if you can see it, there you go, so I'm going to take inside and join up the two holes. Okay, now I'm going to grab my knife, got my knife, now to make this hole a little wider, Oh. 
shaving a bit off this piece to make it a little thinner. Okay. I'm going to fit in. No. Needing to shape up a bit more. Now. This off a bit. There we go. Screw it, screw it off a bit. Do you No, that's fine. Still, but too. Yeah, how are you going to? You know what? After all that, I might just nip the heads off. Okay, now just nip the heads off. might still have use for little lilling holes to get more flush Not too bothered. Put it down.
so we but good enough. Not perfectly flush, but flush enough. Nice and flush. It's blurry, but nice and fresh. And I'll do the same on the other side. And I will probably resume filming once I've popped this back onto the um, main body. So then, okay, I made a bit of a mistake, but I've coped with it. It's now, the back is now on, and now, to um, fix the legs to the body. Don't, may not even need to glue. If you don't glue, I'll sort it sort it out. Now to glue them onto the base. Or not. Now to wait and keep applying pressure. Keep the pressure up, keep it going, keep it counting. There we go. Now to gently move this or not. Is but not over there. Move this cord out of the way and move it up here.
just so that I can have a clear workspace for the to do the head assembly. Keeping it there. One moment. Okay. Now for the um, head assembly. This is the um, chin mounted gun. So I, this is the holder for it. I'm going to squeeze the gun into the holder. If I don't drop it. I'll fix that up. There we go. Put that down. Apply more glue. I would like to see an 8080 being a playable model in um, Star Wars Legion, but I think that's just going to be a bit too big and a bit too ridiculous. But still, let's hope for the best. Uh, whatever fails, probably not important. Now, Back to the head assembly. I've attached the um, chin gun to its um, mount. Now to attach the mount to the chin. Got little holes where these go into. I've applied some glue. Kitchen mount is glued in. Now to um, remember how this. So this is the mortar, and it goes in, goes on like this. So I'm going to glue that in. That's the motor glued in. And then Gun and grenade launcher. I just click in.
end now to wait for all to glue to dry okay i'm back everything here is nice and dry now i'm going to dry fit it onto um big base there we go Just shows how um, tall this model model is. Now putting on the dry fitting the head. Actually, that's what I'll do. Since I've not glued this in, I can move that about. So I'll um, leave the head in, the, in its forward position and just move this about if I'm wanting to change its um, where it's looking. There we go, hopefully that's enough glue, and once it's all nice and dry, I'm going to spray paint it using um, Mechanica Standard Grey Spray, and that should get the, close enough to the Imperial Grey most of your vehicles are. Well, just then, bye. Hello, I'm up to spray in um, ATST, I built built together, and after the spray, it should pretty much be finished. I mean, spray, spraying you should be in a well ventilated room. Keep the distance of the spray can in your model between um, eight to sixteen inches, or twenty to forty centimeters. and use a stick or something with blue tack for that distance shake for about two minutes I don't usually but that's what the can see and start spraying going again.
not sticking to the bread sack. I probably need to change it at some point. I've got my own fry stick, but what? these models don't fit. These new one bread sack, so hopefully this will be fine. Continue spraying. Blow tape. Not quite done. spray painted the model. I might do a bit more just to fancy this up a bit but other than that this is all you need to do to build a um, ATST for Star Wars Legion and yeah so hopefully everything yep everything's still I'm um, working that's not that I've not glued in and let's see if I can take that off and change the head direction. Everything's working the way I want it to. So if I do want to do a bit more um, touch-ups, I can detach the head for um, better access. Probably could have done that to get a better spray job, but oh well. And yeah, like and subscribe if you like this video, if you want me to do more like it. Um, please to do subscribe and comment if you're wanting me to do any other types of models and film myself building them. Well, till next time, bye bye.